inside my DNA. Power shows inside my DNA. The finals are not entitled. Wins make legends and idols. <laughs> Remember 2015, how great it was. Remember 2016 and how terrible it was. And you know, we want to try to control this situation a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it what I desire or what you require? I've never been in this position being up in the finals. I don't want to relax or feel like it's over. The job's not done. For us, the mindset comes, you're going to have to come take it. Listen to what I'm talking about. This is my game. This is my house. Soldier's DNA. It's the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers for the NBA championship. Back here at Quicken Loans Arena, where the Warriors clinched their title back in 2015. And now a different team with a special new player as Kevin Durant already with three 30-point games in these finals and a chance to do something no team has ever done in the 71-year history of the NBA. But in their path, LeBron James and the Cavaliers wanting to make sure there will be no celebration on their home floor tonight. And good evening, everyone. Welcome to Game 4 of the 2017 NBA Finals, along with Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand, Doris Burke with us as well. Golden State seeking playoff perfection. They have been undefeated throughout these playoffs and also in trying to win their second title in three years. So let's get right to our Domino's pregame HQ. It's been an amazing run, and of course, a lot of it dominating other teams, Mark. But in Game 3, on the road, fourth quarter, come from behind victory, a thrilling victory, showing that this team is playing at a level that very few teams have played on. Well, you think about it, 73 wins last year, and this Warrior team is a better basketball team. You ask the question, how, why? Kevin Durant, they get you done, get it done on the defensive end, they'll beat you offensively, they'll blow you out, they'll win a close ball game. They also have what I call, or Coach Riley would call, the disease of three. They want more. They are a spectacular team looking to end this series. You're right, they're on the precipice of some historic accomplishment. I don't really want to get into the debate if they're the best team ever, but you have to say they've had one of the most dominant runs ever and have a chance to be a dynasty. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, they threw a great punch in game three, a haymaker, but still lost. It's a crushing defeat, Jeff. So right now their mindset, win one game. What's the key to doing that? Well, it's true belief. They've got to believe not only they can win this game, but still win the series. And to give them that belief, I think they have to play from ahead in the first quarter to up their level of resolve. And as a former player, you got to make sure who wants to go back to San Francisco. The mindset's got to be, we got to take care of business tonight. One possession at a time, one game at a time. The proof is in the pudding. You did it last year. They got another opportunity to make history. It was a lost opportunity in game three, up in the fourth quarter, but outscored 11. 11-0 in the final three minutes. Now they try to extend their season to at least one more game. Let's go to our PA announcer, Olivier Cedra. 